The novel, Afterlives, by Abdarazak Gunna. The interwoven stories of three protagonists in an unnamed coastal town in German East Africa in the early 1900s, a period when virtually all of the continent belonged to Europeans. Ophia, an orphan, is saved from her harsh guardians by her long-lost brother, Elias, who too was kidnapped by German colonial forces before gaining an education in a German mission school. Ophir's tale overlaps with that of Homsey, a taciturn ex-soldier who arrives in town still scarred by his service in the colonial army, thanks to Ilya's closest friend, a half-Indian businessman named Khalifa. In this fiction, as in history, the German Empire is a living, breathing organism that wants to develop and reproduce and, if attacked, fight for existence at any cost. Gunner clearly illustrates white racism. To carry out their orders, the Germans sent a gang of African recruits known as the Escori to torture villagers and murder local chiefs who dare to oppose them. The Ascori are so ruthless in their pursuit of their white masters cause that they have left the land devastated, with hundreds of thousands of people hungry and dying. Early in the novel, Elias, who has spent a year caring for his younger sister, training her to read and write and showering her with devotion, chooses to serve in the German struggle against the British in World War I. The reader is as startled and astounded as Afia, who describes the previous year as the happiest moment of her life. Gunnar gradually and skillfully describes the subsequent sequence of events, his tone filled with empathy and free of judgment. Of course, Elias is oblivious to the harm he is doing as well as the harm his nine years in German captivity have done to his own heart and mind. Gunnar, like Fennan, recognizes that what European imperialists did to African bodies pales in contrast to what they did to African minds. When Elias praises the Germans as honorable and polite people who have done much good since they have been here, another local plainly adds, my buddy, they have devoured you. Afterlives is a love tale as well as an investigation of empire, war, and the little, untold stories that get buried amid the main, often repeated ones. Despite the harsh realities surrounding them, Gunnar brilliantly depicts their moments of happiness. But, just as the shadow of the German Empire looms over this region of Africa, so does the shade of Ilya's departure over Ophir and Homsa as they strive to construct the loving family they never had as children. Ophir names their newborn child Ilias, which leads to the discovery of why her brother never returned home.